subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Versus Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Let's begin with a boot up test in three, two, let's go and see which one is first. Now, a lot of you were requesting this comparison here and it kind of makes sense a lot of you might have a 7 plus might be thinking about upgrading to a galaxy note 9 you can get a pretty sweet trade-in deal if you do trade this to samsung and knock like 300 bucks off the price of a galaxy note 9 here but a10 cpu boots up first over the samsung galaxy note 9 i have ios 12 beta 11 the latest version at the time of this video recording and over here samsung experience version 9.5 with android version 8.1 all right guys so the iphone 7 plus doesn't have face unlock but the note 9 does but they both have fingerprint scanner so let's see which one is quicker here three two one and you can see that's the note 9 by miles again three two one and you know that's the note 9 again by miles somebody said why do you even compare the fingerprint scanner on the iphone it's two generations old and you have the note 9 which is way faster obviously well because they both have a fingerprint sensor and if you're going to be upgrading and paying another thousand dollars for a smartphone i would like to see an improvement in my fingerprint speed anyway so that's why we create that right there let's go ahead and jump into the specs just the specifications that matter for the iPhone 7 Plus, an Apple A10 CPU here, three gigabytes of RAM, a Power VR six core graphics for the GPU here on the iPhone 7 Plus. For the Galaxy Note 9, Snapdragon 845, we do have eight gigs of RAM on this model, an Adreno 630 GPU, so it is loaded with the specifications here. What a beast in the Galaxy Note 9, doubling basically everything on the iphone 7 plus but does that matter let's go ahead and test the applications all right guys so we have arrived at the application portion of the speed test the iphone 7 plus running ios 12 beta 11 note 9 running android 8.1 oreo you can see everything closed on the note 9 same goes for the 7 plus let's go to settings and you can see it looks like the note 9 slightly faster animation let's go on the clock again for the note 9 let's go into phone and you can see that's the iphone 7 plus let's go into calculator you can see the Note 9 again for the win. And what about Play Store, App Store? You can see the Note 9 ready to go over the 7 Plus coming home. Let's go into Instagram, 3, 2, 1. And you can see Instagram is first here for the Note 9. Let's go ahead and load up the profile. And you can see iPhone 7 Plus hanging there with the Note 9. Let's go ahead and hit the heart. And you can see Note 9. So very close performance here so far considering this phone is two years old. Let's go into Twitter. And we should see it win here for the note 9 and here we go with the iphone 7 plus let's go into snapchat you can see note 9 ready to go so the note 9 nice performance let's go into whatsapp you can see note 9 again what a beast let's go into youtube and you could see the trending page here we got a little ad here and you can see it's still it took a little longer there for the iphone 7 plus so scrolling through fast scroll still smooth scroll for the iPhone. Coming home, let's go into Prime Video. Let's hope we don't get an ad here on either. And we did. Yeah, we're getting one here on the Note 9. So we're gonna have to go ahead and X this out and do this one one more time for the Prime Video. Let's go ahead and come home and let's go into Prime Video, three, two, one, and see what happens here. Note 9 is faster, just had an ad the first time. Let's go into Amazon. And you can see Amazon faster for the Note 9. So if you got a 7 Plus so far, it's looking like you're going to have a nice performance increase. You can see. Plus, you get a lot more features as well. eBay and the iPhone 7 Plus taking its sweet time. Let's go into this LG TV and the Note 9 slightly ahead again. Let's go into Jetpack. Can the iPhone make a comeback here in the gaming round? And the first one, the Note 9 says, absolutely not. I will continue my lead and the phone went out of the frame. Let's go ahead and come home here and let's go into Dead Trigger 2. Let me turn the media volume down on the Note 9 blasting here. You see the iPhone 7 Plus with the wind there on the load. What about actually playing them though? Which one can load that first? And you could see the iPhone 7 Plus holding its own with these graphically intensive games. So a little bit disappointing there, but the Note 9 one of the coolest phones to use when you actually are playing that game. Let's go to PUBG Mobile. I might speed the video up if this one takes too long because it typically does, as I mentioned in my prior speed test. So we'll be back in just a second when we arrive to the match start. 
So you've seen throughout that speed up that the iPhone 7 Plus well into the game first on PUBG. Let's go ahead and hit start though and see which one can load the match first. But considering that you were way ahead in the load time for the 7 Plus, although the Note 9 may load this match first, no it doesn't. So even with the, you know, getting into the match, it was first for the 7 Plus. So graphically intensive games, I think might still be faster on the 7 Plus. They'll probably play very similarly on both, but the optimization, gamers, developers are seem to go more towards the iPhone when it comes to, you know, that aspect and my personal experience anyway, and that doesn't seem to be changing just yet. Let's go into Slither. Fortnite's a great example of that, you know, coming to the Galaxy Note 9 as a, you know, promo and uh, people have been waiting forever on Android to get it. Let's go to play against AI and you can see very similar performance there for the Slither. Let's go into Subway Surfers and you can see Subway Surfers and the Note 9 ahead here. So no, the iPhone 7 Plus, no, the 7 Plus. So gaming, it still looks like even though you have a two year old iPhone that you're beating this latest Android on the game round. Let's go into Geekbench and you can see very similar there. I think it might have been the Note 9 on that one. Let me know down below. What about speed test? And you can see Note 9 jumps ahead there. So overall, it's pretty much the same story as it seems to always be with the iPhone versus the Android and a lot of basic apps, social media apps, the things you use every day. The Android seems faster. When you get into graphically intensive games, the games seem more optimized and quicker for the iPhone. So the 7 Plus did pretty well against the Note 9. I still feel the Note 9 feels faster in the day-to-day. -day. I'm not a big gamer, so I don't notice it that much. But if you're a gamer, the 7 Plus might still be a little bit better. But when I say better, keep in mind, I'm talking from the perspective of speed, you know, just in speed, not like you have a big, beautiful display with the water carbon cooling system inside here. Not that, just just the fact of speed. The 7 Plus might be a little faster. Okay, hey guys, so let's go through these applications to see if we get any reloads. Let's go to speed test. You can see nothing there. Let's go into Geekbench, and there is nothing there. Let's go into Subway Surfers. No reloads on either. Good stuff on both. And you can see Slither, the good stuff here. Let's go into PUBG Mobile. And both did about the same thing there on the reload. Let's go into the Dead Trigger. And you can see very similar stuff there. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. And both had that open. The animation seems a little faster on just reloading on the iPhone 7 Plus, but that's probably because Apple holds a screenshot in their multitasking. What about eBay? You can see about the same. Let's go into Amazon and about the same. Is the iPhone 7 Plus going to get through this whole test without a reload? That would be interesting to see. And you could see nothing there. And let's go into WhatsApp and no reloads on either. Let's go into Snapchat. No reloads here. Let's go into Twitter and nothing really there. Let's go into Instagram. And about the same on both, actually. So pretty good stuff. Let's go into Play Store, App Store. You can see nothing again. So both very good. What about calculator? Very good stuff. So iOS 12 looking strong here for the 7 Plus. And of course, the Note 9 latest flagship looking great. Let's go into clock. And you can see looks great. Let's go into settings. And a slight little reload there for the 7 Plus on settings. But other than that, pretty much nothing to speak of. Pretty good stuff on both of them here. Okay, so the final Geekbench scores are in, and the 7 Plus finished first, like way ahead of the Note 9, and it did win in the single core, and it did lose in the multi-core, but still very respectable for a two-year-old phone. So basically, that's it between these two. I think you can conclude that the 7 Plus definitely is still a pretty powerful performer. The Note 9 just offers so many more features. So if you're coming from a 7 Plus thinking about upgrading, you're really gonna be paying for the feature set. But if you don't use the feature set, don't come to the Note 9 just because you think it's gonna be so much faster because of the marketing of eight gigs of RAM. It really doesn't feel so much faster than a 7 Plus. It just feels like it can handle everything a Note is supposed to. To handle if you guys want to see a full comparison let me know down below in the comment section of this video any questions suggestions or any more videos you want to see on the note 9 drop them down below thumbs up